Hi, what's up guys? Um, so a few new things. New camera and new threads. What do you reckon? But anyway, the focus of the video, I'm going to be installing these bad boys. Let this focus. If you haven't already noticed what these are, these are tyre stickers. I'm sure you've seen them. They've been a fair bit of a craze uh, of recent times. So here I go, I've ordered some. They say federal. I uh, can't remember what font. I'll fill that in in the description or on the screen now. Um, so basically, these will super glue to your tyres. So all you're going to need is obviously your tyre stickers, which you can order from their website. Some microfiber cloths, or just any cloth that's pretty clean, preferably without any lint, and some acetone. Alright, well let's get started. Alright, so these are the tyres that they're going on. I run um, Federal 595s, uh, 255, 40, 17s all around. These are really good tyres, really cheap, and you know, good bang for buck and an awesome tread pattern. And then you can see in there also my big mother 356mm 8 pot case bought front brakes. Alright, so first thing you want to do is actually make sure that the, the riding or the location that you're going to actually put these decals is preferably to the top of the tyre. I've driven the car forward to get the federal uh, riding here, which I'm going to stick them over and get them covered up. Alright, so the instructions that come on the back uh, say step one. You've got to use acetone to fully remove all oil and dust. Repeat this process as many as 10 times or more until dirt and oils are no longer picked up. So I can imagine that would be a pretty, pretty uh, crucial step there because you want to get uh, obviously maximum adhesion with these. And then step two, we've just got to gently clean the back of the decals with acetone. And then you've just got to moderately um, apply some of the flex cement to the back of the stickers and they kind of recommend doing three or four letters at a time. Yeah, hopefully you can see I'm kind of kind of colouring it in as you would with say a texture to kind of keep it all even and not, not going right out to the edges like they say. Alright so when you're applying them you've got to basically keep going back over and massaging from the inside out kind of just you know, all the way out make sure they're all contacting nicely. Well, they seem pretty well stuck. Um, next, next one I do, I'll probably go out further to the edges with the glue. Doesn't seem to be any any mushing out, so um, I might be a bit more generous with the glue. Um, yeah, they say you can actually come back over and kind of squeeze glue in the edges and massage it a bit. So let's do the next one. All right, just to be safe, I might do the E and the R first, get them done, get them located. Then I'll probably come back through and do the A and the L. Right, so as I said, I'm going further out to the edges now. I'm still still colouring in like a like you would with a texture or a pencil. Or... Right, well, I definitely think um, spreading the glue out a bit further has helped um, help the edges adhere a bit better. So I'll definitely be doing that on the other one. Just a matter of doing the. A and the L now. I think mean, that looks pretty badass. All right, guys. So after probably, I'd say an hour, this is what I've accomplished. See, I think honestly, if I was going to order them again, I would probably go maybe half an inch smaller or less tall. Those ones I'm pretty sure are one and three quarter inches high. Um, they kind of look a bit too bulky. I don't know, they'll probably grow on me, but yeah. They see me rolling, they hating, patrolling and trying to kiss me right Catch me riding dirty, trying to catch me riding dirty, trying to catch me riding dirty.
Catch me riding dirty. Tryna catch me riding dirty. Tryna catch me riding dirty.